Hello guys, welcome back to Appentistus Club. Today we are going to discuss about job proxy. So what is a job proxy? So the job proxy is also called as jet attack proxy. It is an easy to use and integrated a penetration testing tool for finding a vulnerabilities in a web applications. It is designed to be used by people with a wide range of security experience and as such is ideal for developers and functional testers who are new to a penetration testing. So uh, why is job proxies important? Job runs the testing to identify all the major web application security vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery and many other things. So now we will see how this will be work. Okay, so first of all, if you're not at install from the command prompt, you just come here, you just type job proxy, so it will start the thing. Okay, so if you're not at install, you just uh, click on yes, then it will wait for installations, then it will start the job proxy, otherwise, you can install from here directly. from here you can install from here so now you can see it's running So, uh, job proxy is like a security testing. So, like security testing is often a broken out, uh, somewhat arbitrary, according to either the type of vulnerability being tested or the type of testing being done. A common breakout will be done like vulnerability assessment, penetration testing, runtime testing, and code review. So, once a pop up is came, so you just click on no. I don't want a present this session at this moment in the time so you just click on start so uh, in the pen testing process like uh, you will get like a three options like uh, manual and automatic so uh, both manual and automatic penetration uh, Pen testings are used often a conjunction to test everything from server to network to a device to endpoints. The document focuses on web applications and the website pen testing. So they can look only at three basic things like they will explore the total website, then they will put a malicious code like a script tag and etc. tags, and they will get you the report. So this is what the job proxy can be done. So once we got the user interface, so in the first things like this we call okay file edit view analyze report tool import export online help. This call we will call as a menu bar. So it provides access to many of the automated and manual tools. And second one is called a toolbar. So this one is the second one we call this one as a toolbar so it includes a buttons which provides a easy to access most commonly used of features okay so now third one tree window so this this of the thing we call it as a tree window okay it displays the site tree and the scripts of the tree okay so whatever you scan that displays the here and workspace for window so this session we will call it as workspace for window so it displays the request and response and a script and allows you to edit them 
so this is the fifth option so in this information window displays the detail of automated and manual tools of footer and displays a summary of the alerts found the status of the main automated tools and this one is footer display summary alerts from the status main automated tools so now we come to automated scan so i just need to use a target a website so i am targeting this website i just copy and you just enter then it will ask Firefox headless so just go Let's ask a valid URL so I just remove so now it's scanning so you need to wait for until the scanning so this will scan the details and displace the here now you can see uh, here you will get as any results okay so we can see what is uh, going on here So now you can click on here, you can see here, absence of anti-CSRF -CS token. So this is the CSRF token. So you need to use this one in the uh, targeted website. So being discovered to disclose information by gaining access to response, the risk information is disclosed is a dramatically increased when the target size is vulnerable to accesses because accesses can use as a platform for CSRF allowing the attacker to operate within the bounds of the same origin policy. Also we can see here servers leak information. Also, you can see modern web applications. So, if you get here red flag, the website database you can access the totally. And if you get uh, orange, okay, you need to uh, change something in the website uh, without attacking the cross site scriptings and everything. And this yellow is uh, low vulnerabilities of the things like it will do like a high, medium, low. And this one uh, site healthy like does not require to change anything else. You can see here this information alert so no changes are required. So you can see here when you go for xaspnet configure the server so it will not return to the headers so it will need to configure so this is the tag you need to use it in the targeted website like whatever I targeted that website you need to use in the targeted website so now let's come back so the website is as long as bigger it will take a too much time okay so you try it your own guys this concludes the how to perform the jack proxy uh, tool thank you guys for watching have a great day